All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about my Oakley Sutro S glasses with the Prism Trail Torch lens. This is my first real mountain biking sunglass and I used goggles before this. However, that was only for trail riding really. And I came to think I look kind of silly riding with goggles all the time with a half shell helmet. However, I did get a full face helmet now. So the goggles will be for the full face and I decided I need some real proper mountain biking glasses for my half shell. So of course, like most people, you're a bit skeptical about paying these you know, MSRP price tags for just these flimsy pieces of plastic. And these Oakleys retail for like $160, which I don't think it's really worth that much, but I bought these around Cyber Monday, Black Friday or whatever on Oakley's website for $115. And that price is a little bit easier to swallow, especially because my parents were getting it for my Christmas present. So don't have to worry about that on my credit card. But uh, nonetheless, I'm pretty glad that I got these. I'll kind of go over the specs with you and whatnot. The Sutra S is supposed to be for smaller heads. I didn't really consider myself to have a small head, but uh, they fit quite well. Now I'm blind, but the arms are not covered in any rubber or anything, and they're not super flexible. So I was kind of worried. I was like, oh no, I saw how small they were in the package. I was like, eesh, I think that I have a kind of <laughs> bigger head but uh, these fit very comfortably and I don't feel any pinching around my temple or against my ears. And I think that I have rather large ears. I'll let you be the judge of that, but um, haven't had any issues, especially with the helmet on my head. Doesn't seem to hurt my ears in any way. So I'm really pleased about that. I was really worried that that would be uh, an unfortunate downside to real glasses and kind of why I was steered towards goggles in the first place just because I was afraid of spending this much money. It's funny that you can get goggles for much cheaper and they effectively do the same thing but uh, I guess you're paying for this form factor really and I'm definitely enjoying it. I've used these on every ride this year. I don't know that's like 10 or 12 rides already and I have absolutely no complaints um, the trail torch lens is good for a more sunny day. Um, when it starts to get a little bit darker, you'll definitely notice a little bit of a darkening effect, but I don't think it's as bad as my Smith goggles that I reviewed a while ago. So I'll go over what you get in the package. Of course, you get this nice carrying case, the nice zipper on the side. You open that bad boy up, nice little clamshell, and you've got your, I don't know, satiny, oakly pouch of doom. And you kind of open it up and voila, your overpriced glasses are unsheathed. And uh, it's a nice, nice little setup to carry to and from the trail. Definitely enjoy that about it. And then uh, you get an extra little nose bridge if you've got a big honker or something, I don't know. I haven't <laughs> taken it out of the package, but that's what you get inside. So something else that I wanted to talk about and was a big concern for me coming from goggles is goggles give you the best coverage in terms of the lens and your field of vision on the trail. No doubt about that. I was kind of worried that you'd get a huge lens on these glasses to even get close to that kind of coverage. But I think I neglected the fact that you know, the glasses are closer to your face than a goggle is. So really you can get away with a much smaller lens. It's just like actual glasses, you know, I have mostly clear vision, but like up here and down here, it gets a little bit blurry. I can see the frames of my glasses in my peripheral vision, which I don't really love. And when you're trying to focus on the trail and whatnot, that wasn't something that I really wanted to worry about. And luckily with these, I don't see the frame at all. So that was kind of an important thing for me. I, I really didn't try on any glasses at all 
which you probably should have done considering I work at a bike shop and we've got a whole glass thing of it, but maybe trying on a bunch of glasses isn't the best thing to do during COVID. So uh, we'll leave it at that. Also, thing that I forgot to mention about the uh, nose bridge piece, apparently it's made of some fancy rubber that gets grippier as you sweat. Now, I don't know, you know, if you're paying these high prices, you got to get some kind of fancy marketing tool like rubber that gets grippier as you sweat. That's a very important thing that everyone's worried about. Your rubber gets looser as you sweat? No, no, no. You need to get grippier. That's why you'll pay the big bucks for the grippy rubber. It's called like unobtainium or something. Who knows if that's even a thing, but that's what uh, another reviewing magazine said about these. So, you know, I just had to smash Ed to cart after I read that. But jokes aside, I've had no problems with these sliding off my nose. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, haven't really dropped them or anything like that yet. Um, so I can't really comment on the durability, but I've definitely got into some brush and whatnot and protects my eyes. But of course the main thing is that the, during these cold winter months, you know, the, the wind is insane and you'll just start crying like that as soon as you get up to speed. So I was also worried that because it's not a closed system and air can still pass through that I would get cold and tear up either way. So glad to report that that is not the case and uh, it protects you from the wind as you would hope. And a follow-up point to that, fogging up is pretty much non-existent. Um, while you're riding, it's definitely non-existent, which is important. But when you stop and take a breather, uh, your steamy breath kind of does condense on the lens at the very top a little bit. It doesn't ruin your vision completely, but it uh, can be a little noticeable. But that's when we're like talking uh, sub-freezing temperatures. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Like I said, while you're riding, it, it doesn't happen, and that's the most important part. All right, so that's about it for this review video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did, be sure to lacerate that like button, hit that subscribe button, and remember, stay adventure, my friends.